A, a friend of mine who has been a lifelong Catholic, in fact, he served as the treasurer of his local Catholic church for the better part of two decades, told me some time ago that he would never darken the door of a Catholic church again for so long as Pope Francis was in charge. And look, I kind of sympathise with him. I'm not a Catholic myself, but by God, you can tell the bloke is an absolute lefty. He seems to spend more time denigrating the Catholic Church and its sensibilities than upholding them. He's now come out with another great bit of Catholic wisdom, which is that it doesn't matter what religion you belong to, well, we're all ultimately moving towards the same God. Because every religion is a way to arrive at God. Sono, dirò una comparazione, sono come diverse lingue, diverse idiomi per arrivare lì. Sort of a comparison, an example would be they're sort of like different languages in order to arrive at God. Ma Dio è Dio per tutti. But God is, is God for all. E come Dio è Dio per tutti, noi siamo tutti figli di Dio. And if God is God for all, then we're all sons and daughters of God. It's oh. all the same. There's just a bunch of different religions. We're all, we're, we're, we're all just, we, we might believe in completely disparate stuff, but we're all sort of moving in the same direction. Now, now help me out here. You are a former minister. You are the daughter of a minister. As someone who hasn't spent a lot of time in the church, I thought I had a, a, a minor understanding of how these things worked, which was you believe in your particular religion because you think it's the one true religion and your God is the one true God. And you believe in that one because all the other ones are wrong. So the Pope is now saying it doesn't matter. You don't have to be Catholic. It doesn't matter what you are. We all believe in the same thing. I didn't think they all believed in the same well, thing. Well, congratulations. Caleb, turns out you know more than the Pope. Make himself. me the Pope. Make me the Pope. Yeah, 1.3 billion Catholics. It is time to fire your Pope for crying out loud. That's heresy. By anyone's definition, that is blasphemy. In fact, the entire 11 years of this guy's papacy, he's never stopped advocating for climate change. That's been a major bastion of his time in the hot seat. Last December, he decided it was perfectly okay for priests to bless same-sex marriage. Have you read the scriptures, buddy? It repeatedly says that is an abomination. And with regards to this idea that, oh, we're all going to make it, it actually doesn't matter which religion you belong to. John 14, 6, baby, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. Nobody makes it to the Father except through me. I don't know. That sounds pretty exclusive. That sounds like there really is only one way. So Catholics, either you need to fire your Pope or really reconsider this idea of ex cathedra, this papal infallibility, because according to you guys, everything that comes out of this bloke's mouth is absolutely infallible. If I had a dollar for every Catholic who's come up to me and said to me, a lifelong Protestant, why don't you convert to Catholicism? To which I reply, why do you allow a heretic to be the head of your universal church. Maybe, just maybe I'd consider it if you just got rid of the guy who's currently chairman. Because from 
Woe to go. I mean, this guy has always been a joker in my eyes. I will, I've always said, bring back Pope Benny. Then, of course, Pope Benny died, so I couldn't crack that joke anymore. But this guy has made a mockery well, he wouldn't out be the of first the Catholic one to come back Church, from the well, I mean, as far as I'm concerned. You know, when someone asks you a really obvious question and you reply, is the Pope Catholic? It's rhetorical, but now it's a legitimate question. We don't know if he's Catholic or not. In that, the clip we showed, he goes on, he says things like this. He says, it's wrong to say that my religion is more important than yours. Oh. It's wrong to say my religion is true and yours is not. <laughs> What's the point? He went on and he said, and I quote, each religion, and then he names them, Sikh, Muslim, Hindu, Christian. They're all different paths, but arrive at the same place, which begs the question, if that's true... Why would anyone become a Catholic? You don't need to become a Indeed. Catholic. It also begs the question of Christians, why did Jesus bother to die a bloody, painful death on a cross if he'd get to heaven some other if way? If only he'd known he this.